We may be out here till midnight if we don't get you on a fish. You never caught a trout before, so I don't want to leave without you catching one. What kind of guide would I be? They're biting, Cobe. We just got to get you on them, man. Today's video is sponsored by Truebill. Now, I've been using Truebill for about, uh, what, two or three months now? And Truebill is basically an all-in-one personal finance app. I absolutely love this little app. It helps me keep track of everything. Basically, I can go in and put in all of my checking accounts, savings accounts, my business credit card, my one and only credit card. Put all that stuff in and it itemizes everything out and I can put everything into categories. I absolutely love that. So I can categorize all of our food expenses, all of our fuel expenses, travel expenses, farm expenses, things like that. And it tells me, it gives me a breakdown of how much I'm spending in each category. So with the new year and new year's resolutions, maybe one of your new year's resolutions is to save money or spend less, whatever it is. Truebill does a lot of cool things. So one of the things it does, it'll actually go in and keep track of all of your bills. So basically Truebill has a feature that can go in there and negotiate some of your bills, like say Sirius XM radio. It'll see how much you're paying versus what a normal rate is and they can negotiate those bills for you. Another thing Truebill can do for you is help set up a smart savings account. So you can basically tell Truebill, hey, on this date, I want this much deposited into, the, into a savings account that's done right on the app. And then you can withdraw from it at any point. It's a pretty simple process and it's a good little extra savings cushion to have it's always good to have those extra savings accounts laying around for when you need a little bit of cash to go maybe buy some trout fishing gear so if you want to learn more about truebill you can either scan the qr code on the screen or go to the description box and check out truebill.com armsfamily it's a free app to download there is a paid version but i've just been using the free version for the last couple months and it does everything i need it to do plus so much more so be sure to check them out Thanks to Truebill for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go catch some trout. We're back. So what's up guys? We are back with another video. Before we get started, go ahead and subscribe. We're in the traditional and like this video. So today we're back going trout fish here. But this time we got I mean, Jacoby. <laughs> I'm gonna say Keaton, Keaton came with us last time. This time we brought Jacoby. We haven't been on the creek fishing with Kobe in forever, and there's not any fish to be caught in our creek right now this time of year. Yeah. But I think we found a new hobby. Yeah. Trout fishing on the river. I do feel like I'm gonna have to have some words with you boys. What is the deal? Maybe I need to have words with Earl Dibbles Jr. Because I see yee shirt, yee shirt, a yee hat. At least one of you's got one of my hats on. Either Granger or Earl's been in your ear. I'm not sure which one it was. But uh, this is something we found that we really enjoy. Yeah. And hopefully we get on a whole bunch more trout today. Hey, so Rick told me, he, you know, we came fishing with Rick last time we were here. Mm -hmm. We caught like 20 or 30 fish. Yeah. He said they came a couple days ago and caught 70. Mm -hmm. They didn't keep any. They threw them all back, but mm -hmm. 70. I expect you to catch about 15 or 20 by yourself. Okay. All right, let's go fishing. Yeah. We may have to, we may have to go on down the river to find the fish. We'll try it here a couple times. Don't just, we don't want to just lose all our bait here and not, not catch any fish. We got a nibble. Can I be the first one to catch a fish today? Little fish hit it, but I don't think he took it. Hmm, nope. I had a bite. But he didn't take it.
but hey, the other day I caught some up there above the falls. So we can try both sides, okay? It's a perfect little spot on this rock. We're in the shade. The other day we caught several right here. Didn't we, Houston? Yeah. The water's moving nice and slow, so we shouldn't lose so many baits. I'll have to get her out there a little better than that, though. Mm. See if we can find some fish. You know, we got here, we came the other day and we got here early in the morning. We got here like 7 a.m. It's, uh, it's almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now, so. Fishing may be different in the evening than in the morning. Yeah. Got a nibble. Got a nibble. Take it. Got him. Oh, he come off. Dang it. That was on a green one, so. I want to put another green one on. If y'all don't get any bites, we're just going to have to fish with the green ones until they start biting on something else, okay? It's anybody's game on who's, uh, who's going to catch the first trout. Who's it going to be? Houston. Houston. <laughs> Maybe. He's already looking a little frustrated. I am. Why? Because you didn't come out here and catch one on your first cast today? Yeah. I bet you we find them. Oh, I missed one. Missed one, Kobe. I missed one. Better catch me a fish. I'm hungry. I had about four nibbles in a row, but I just can't get one to commit. He just swam with my whole lure. Got him. First fish, finally. Let's see what we got. There'd he go. Yeah. Nice little trout. Yeah. Kobe. Hey. Get your lure in the water over here. Go over here and cast out. Where? Sure. Get it way out there though. Well, there's our first trout of the evening. Just gotta get the boys on some fish. That's why we're here. I mean, I'm gonna fish, but hard to eat fish if you don't catch any. Gotta get the boys to catching some fish. Man, come on, take it, fish. The other day, man, when they hit it, they hammered it and ran. Today, it's very subtle. Just a little bitty tap, 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 tap. I've had several bites, but it's quite a ways out there. Need some to make? I've got some. Pay attention to what you're doing. I 
I don't know where you cast. I'm just coming over here so if I, you catch a fish, I can film you. Nope. Oh, I do got him. Watch out, Easton. Trying to get around you, buddy. I thought he got off, but he was still on there. Whose line am I in? Got mine. Well, let me get the fish. It's gonna be interesting trying to get us separated. I had this fish the whole time, and I thought he got off. He must have swam right at the falls, and I couldn't feel him. Got the hook out. Now I just got to get separated from Houston here. You got a fish. Oh man. I do? Yeah. You got a fish. But uh, hang on, hang on. Hang on. You got one heck of a mess of line, but you got a fish on there. Oh, yeah, I do. Hang on. You're not out yet. Oh, this is a cluster. Don't pull, don't pull anything. Hang on, I'm almost there. Okay. Reel yours in, see if your fish is still on there. What a mess. Yep. Yeah, you got him. I got the lock. <laughs> huh? Can't get it the lock. Can't do it oh, you're all tangled up. Really, man? My fish is going to be dead. He's going on a stringer for sure. Hey, you got to go easy, okay? When you look at me, when you yank and reel, you're, you're fishing with a hook that's this big, okay? You just yanked the hook out of his mouth, all you did right there, okay? Listen, reel, pull slow and easy, okay? Well, we had a double. Maybe we're on to something now. I can't believe that. Houston had that fish on the whole time. We were tangled up. And then he just yanked it right out of his mouth. That's, I know that's what happened. You caught that one on those fish eggs, didn't you? Yeah. Here, let me do it. You smash them all to pieces. Thread it on there easily. We got to get y'all some fish before it gets dark. Go get another one. Got him. Yeah. Yeah. Good one. That's number three for the stringer. Pretty little trout, aren't they? Man, this is so cool. I gotta get Jacoby and Houston on some fish, though. Woo, they're so strong. So strong. Oh my God, he hammered. Slow down, slow down, reel him. Don't try to yank it out of his face. Alright, let me toss this out for Kobe. Just let it sit, Kobe. Don't reel it in anytime soon. Easy. Easy. Oh. Look at there. That's a big boy. First one of the day. For me at least. For you, yeah. I'm up on you three to one right now, yeah. but that's all right. We're going to put this one on a different stringer. Woo! What? Slippery. Golly. Yeah. Got him. Oh Need to use my towel, don't I? I'm chasing that guy all over the river. 
Got him now. We may be out here till midnight if we don't get you on a fish. You never caught a trout before, so I don't want to leave without you catching one. What kind of guide would I be? Got to catch one. Bring him over here. Pretty one. Here, hold the line. Can you have your cloth? Huh? Cloth. Cloth. My rag. You know my rag. Better hold on to him tight. Push it out. Oh, he barely hooked down in there. What's that make? Five. Uh. Yeah, I got three and you got two yeah, now. Yeah, that's all together. Because we haven't let one loose. Got another one? Kobe, you got to catch fish, man. Houston's whooping you right now. Hey, we're tied now. We're tied. We're probably going to let them go. We got six. That's plenty to keep, so we're going to let the rest go, okay? Okay. Maybe Pete, see if Kobe wants to keep him. Woo! He gone. Now I gotta catch a different one. Kobe's, hey. We got six on the stringer. Oh, well, that's plenty to keep. We don't need to take a bunch home, so. Okay. Kobe can catch all he wants, but that's all we're gonna keep. But you gotta get in the water and catch fish, buddy. When you're reeling it in is when you're bouncing off the bottom and hitting sticks and rocks and everything. You're not going to get bites on that bait hardly ever when you're reeling it in. That, that stuff just sits out there and floats and those trout come get it then. You're just feeling the bottom most of the time. Hey Dad, we're tied up now. Yeah, but I got a nibble. I got a fish. They're biting, Cobe. We just got to get you on them, man. When you throw, when you cast it out, don't start reeling it. Just let it sit, okay? I just barely got this guy hooked, too. Oop, there he went. I caught that one on the red fish eggs. Got another one. Oh, I flat missed that one. He just about yanked it out of my hand and I still missed him. You getting any nibbles yet? Houston got him another one. Back up to four piece now, right? Come on, Kobe, I got faith in you. You gotta catch us a fish. Hey, lower your pole down. You're fighting yourself there. Yeah. We got to get Kobe a fish before we leave. This boy's never caught a trout. We got to get him a trout. Because that's the only reason we're here, basically. Well, we've got six fish on a stringer. Jacoby has not caught one yet, but I'm going to go ahead and start cleaning fish, and hopefully this boy can catch one. I got faith in you, Kobe. You got to catch one before we go. Oh, that's so male. My stuff is coming out. Hey, Dad, look. The bait is in it. Mm-hmm. Where? Where's our bait? Well, Kobe, yeah. I got all the fish cleaned. You still haven't caught one, man. What's the deal? I don't know. 
I had faith in you. I just knew you were going to slay some some trout today. Let me see that. Is it way better in the morning? I've only been here once in the morning. It's only my second time to come here, so. Yeah, we got him. We got him this time, Kobe. Better not lose this fish. We worked hard. Worked hard for this one, buddy. Is he still on there? Yeah. All righty, finally. Finally got Kobe a trap. Look over here. Show him to me. Hold him up here. Hold him up here. What do you think about that, buddy? It's cool. It took us all day. We finally got you a trout. Here. Hold him up where I can see him. Hang on. He finally quit flopping. All right, let me see if I can get him off. I can barely see anything out here. It's getting so dark. Oh, he's slippery. Let me grab my rag. All right, buddy. Huh. Let's go find Houston. Houston done roamed off on us. Finally got you a fish, little man. Give me five. First trout ever, right? Yeah. It's getting too dark to see out here. We're going to go... Oh, well, that way and cross the falls. So are we having trout tonight? Oh, we're definitely going to go home and cook some trout. Good. Kobe's not, not going to go without eating a trout. He's never had one before. Really? Yeah. Well, dang sure be cooking us some trout. Probably just throw them on the grill tonight. Well, Jacoby finally got to catch his first trout. Might have had a little bit of help, but he caught a trout. I mean, I was bound to determine. I did not want to leave this place until Jacoby caught a trout. <laughs> it took us all afternoon. We really didn't get into near as many fish as what I'd hoped. It's been... Um, I think the last time they stocked it was December 21st, and today is the 28th. They should be stocking it. Usually they do it about once a week, but I'm sure the holidays kind of throws things off. So they put uh, 20, I think 2,600 fish in before Christmas on the 21st. So, I mean, there's still a lot of fish in there. Not near as many as there probably was, but uh, just... one of these days we'll get into one of those 70 fish days. I've never tried it in the evenings. I want to try it, see if it worked. There was a lot of fly fishermen out, a lot of people catching a few fish, but nobody really catching a bunch. So maybe mornings are the ticket. Get Houston and Kobe over here to do an actual taste test. I will say this, Houston, they're not near as pretty as they were when we cooked them over the campfire. So just like over the campfire the other day, in those foil packets, we'll just peel the skin off, and I think once you peel the skin off, they're just going to be good. Okay, they didn't sure don't. They're not near as pretty to me. I don't think they're near as pretty as they were in the foil packets. No. Oh yeah, skin just peels right off. No problem at all. You go first. Easy Cope, easy, hang on. Listen, there's bones all under there, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna get underneath it and just f flip that over and make sure we, make sure we didn't get the bones on there. 
Okay. Yeah, you're good. Go we'll pull me. that whole we'll pull that whole uh, rib cage out in just a minute. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. Kobe says it's good. Trout's always good. Trout's always good. You were not convinced just a couple minutes ago. What do you mean? When I showed it to you with the skin on it, you were not convinced. Trashy, this is not your meal. <laughs> Give her a taste test here. Now, I really enjoy... Uh, Fish, I love to eat fish. Bass, catfish, you know, anything that I can fillet and fry, I love fried fish. This trout is just so delicate. It's a very, uh, it's a very tender, delicate, flaky fish. This tastes good off the pellet stove, off the pellet grill, but I will have to agree with Houston. It did taste better cooked over an open campfire. Here, I add a little bit of salt to it. Needs a, little, needs a little bit more flavor. So seasoning it on the outside of the skin, you know, it's probably not the best, but salt adds to it a little bit better, doesn't it? Makes a lot better. I figured. Well, Cope, you're going to town on it. What's your uh, honest opinion on trout? It's the best fish I ever had. I don't know about that to me. I think Kobe's lying to us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know about the best I ever had. It's pretty good. It's, it's pretty, pretty good. good. It's it's one. It's it's probably in my top ten, but my top. Top ten, huh? Yeah, my top is um. Mm -hmm. Dolphin. Mahi mahi. Mahi mahi. Yeah. yeah. Really. Favorite. Favorite. Your favorite. Yeah. You really? You like it that much? Maybe the second. Man, he, he, we should, next time, Kobe's going to have to try it over the campfire. Yes. Because I think it was much better. Yes, much, much better. Just munching down. I like it with the salt better. Yeah, we had to add a little bit of salt to it. It was, it was, a, little, it was a little bland after you peeled the skin off. All that seasoning was kind of on the skin, so. Well, there you have it. Trout catch, clean, and cook on the pit boss. Not near as good as the trout catch, clean, and cook over an open fire. Um, Jacoby loved it, and he did get to catch his first trout ever, so that means a lot to me. I love getting to take kids out and uh, catch their first fish, catch a new kind of fish, do something different. Just creek. Just go into the creek. Just like we, creek life. Just hanging out with these boys or any boys or whoever Houston wants to bring. At the creek, at the river, at the pond, at the lake, whatever. It's so much fun. I enjoy it. The dogs seem to be enjoying their self. Hey, fella, Earl. So, anyways, there you have it. Maybe in the future we can find some time to do a fried trout. Maybe we'll do fried trout over an open fire at the campsite or something. I don't know. We'll figure something out. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Y'all have a great day. And as always, we'll see you on the next video.